you guys are here and watching my videos, it's probably because you're high performance mountain bikers yourselves or you're aspiring to be high performance. Regardless, if you ride mountain bikes, you blow through parts eventually, you wear out your tires, all the consumables, you need new bikes, you like just looking at cool bike parts. So one of my biggest supporters is a company called Jensen USA. They're one of the best online retailers of bike parts. And I've got a link in that YouTube description below over to Jensen. If you're buying bike stuff, buy it at Jensen, support the guys that support content creators like myself and a bunch of other cool YouTubers and have fun on your bike. Let's go rip some turns. <music> That's Logan's cheater bike, everyone. Yeah. It's the Cannondale like it. Cranked. Cujo. Cranked. Oh yeah, Cranked Bike Shop <laughs> Studio. <laughs> this is the $250 special. Two fifty. Yeah. And I'm on my Chrome Mag, as you guys know and love. Most viewed video of the year. Wow. All about this guy. And you just stop pedaling, and it's called a manual. Oh. It's still manual if you're sitting. Is it? I think Not so. when you're sitting. No, because you're like then you're like uh, what's I can't think. Um, it's a seated manual. Oh, there's our trail. Then you're like adjusting the position with your brake. That's not a true manual. Oh, you can use your body. I think it's a two and a half. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a sick corner. Yeah. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Just hear a loud thwack. <laughs> Here we are on the prettiest trail, Mount Galbraith, trying to make what you guys said is the ugliest bike look pretty, <laughs> the prettiest trail. I think someone commented that. I feel bad because I really like Chromeg and I think this frame looks sweet, but between my fender and my fork, it's not doing the frame any favors. Anyhow, I'm gonna run with it. You guys have your opinions. So you like to let me know, which is cool. Oh God. <laughs> I ruined myself by riding full suspension the last couple days. <laughs> it is kind of cool though, like, the rut mark or whatever is in the same spot every time. So even though I can't rally fast through it, I'm consistently sucking. You sound like an archer. <laughs> Are archers that self-conscious about their form? I don't know, but they're like, well, they're stoked to be consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Biathlon folks too. I'll leave that rock right there because it looks more mountainous that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna try to do a manual. You ready? <laughs> happy, happy with that? I mean, it wasn't super purdy, but hmm. technically pulled it off. I'll try to do a higher jump to make it look better. <laughs> no, the prettiest forest, and I ran right into it. Because that's so subjective. Oh. Oh, almost lost my front end. Oh, I see. Is that a bench? Yep. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I blew that. Got it.
Got a bit of a disagreement here. Logan thinks that the only way to do this corner is to rip this thing super hard and then gap off this pile of dirt and then land roosting with your foot out just shrouping that right hand corner. It's like a, it's a bike length. I mean, out of all the things that I've seen you do, I feel like this. <laughs> it could be cool. I think it's sweet to roost this corner conservatively without destroying the trail, come casually come over here, hit this mellow little root, then do a super sick air and then shrout this right hand turn. That would be nice. Which line's cooler? Let us know in the comments. Maybe I should film you showing me how to do the gap to- I don't think I can do it. I'll try it in a minute, but I just hit that line and it was, it was sendy, it was cool. Yeah, I don't know, that's something that's satisfying to me about like the- Yeah, it would be know. super sweet and I could probably do it on a full suspension bike. That's what they all say. <laughs> if I had this bike, or if I had, Oh, if I was, if I was riding clips, if I was riding flats today, I could do that. Dude, if I was clipped, I'd just be sprinting the whole way through here, go off this, still sprinting, pedal in the air, and then shred the corner even harder. If I was on my rigid. True story. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, you gotta try one of each and I'll try and have like a very similar, like the same viewpoint. <laughs> Anchor Key or whatever has the pirate trail. The pirate trail? Vitamin R. Oh. Oh, nice. My ankle. Oh, that's nice. shovel just put like a little bit of dirt in front of it smooth it out ah. your snapchat's blowing up Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Good to go. Chicks dig scars. It's cool. I think I'm fine. Ah, oh, single foot. Corner's like more than 90 degrees too. It's tricky. With the tree right on the outside, just where you're gonna go, and then on the inside, a log. Stump. Just looking for your front feet in case you mess up. Gotta stay safe.
episode three has been my favorite thus far, and I haven't really been riding this bike a whole lot in between. So kind of like brandy, whiskey, coffee, yoga, hardtails are a bit of an acquired taste. Yes, they have their place and they're awesome, but your first time you might not like it so much. Stick with it, it'll be worth it. The bike keeps cornering better and better, and I'm not practicing more on it, but I'm getting more comfortable with those two six tires. The way that they're more round than the little two four, two five combo, you really gotta lean it over and trust that it's gonna hook up, and it does slide, whereas the narrower tires do dig in a little bit more, but I'm enjoying them. The extra cush when you case into a root and re-injure your sprained ankle, that's nice, and I think the Kush core is helping quite a bit too. In an upcoming episode, I wanna try swapping the tires down to the slightly skinnier tires. Y'all probably well aware that Jensen USA is sponsoring this vlog series. They're a Chromeg dealer. They are one of my biggest supporters. So if you like my videos, and chances are if you're a mountain biker, you're watching this, you're gonna be blowing through parts, wearing out all your consumables in this awesome spring weather. You're not working right now, it's quarantine time, so you're definitely riding. Check out Jensen, they've got lots of the consumables, tires, brake pads, saddles, sick new chrome egg frames, all that stuff in stock. And use my link below in that description because that'll help out my channel, myself, and it'll keep these videos going. And it's an honor, a pleasure, and a treat to be here making these. Everyone, leave a comment below telling Logan thank you for filming and riding his hardtail when he could be riding a full suspension bike instead. No, I don't have one put together. Everyone tell Logan to put his full squish together. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you guys on the trail. Stay safe, everyone.